Why the hell is Yankee in the South out here? Okay, so apologies. Had to restart the stream. Apparently the YouTube app does not like me. And I scheduled the stream for nothing to get people to tune in just for it to crash. So I honest to God can't tell you why that happened. So now we have to wait for people to arrive. <sighs> I really can't stand technology sometimes. It's okay. All right, so let's try this again. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Is there any buffering? I tried to schedule the stream ahead of time so that people were able to tune in and the YouTube app does not like to cooperate for me. I don't know what it is. I like Jill's chair. Yes, we have more of them coming on the way, supposedly. We hope, <laughs> and not masks again. You're good. Okay. Audio is good. You can hear us loud enough. Probably hear the birds yelling at us. I know it's a little smoky. That'll go away. Had good intentions. Just didn't work out as planned. So. I can see you and hear you, but you're not very loud. Hey, everybody. See if that's any better with the audio. If not, I will adjust it again. And Sandra, I'm glad you're here tonight. We are trying your cheeseburger chips that you sent to us. So we're trying that and the world's hottest gummy bear sent to us from Tim, better known as Coal Region Rider. That bird is loud. Audio sounds fine. Okay, so if it's quiet on your end, just pump up the volume. And I'm getting attacked by a bug on my arm. I don't know if we have any bugs to bring out here. I'm gonna watch this shower again. You're probably gonna have to. <laughs> Smoke. So, welcome everyone. We got close to 90 people here, so I think we'll get started. Uh, tonight's chow time episode is gonna be. Two snacks or items sent to us from two different viewers, Tim and Sandra. And then a couple items that we found at Walmart and Trader Joe's. So, we're gonna, I'll try them, except for Lily. She's not going to try the gummy bear, but uh, we'll save the gummy bear for last. If that's going to be the hottest, I at least want to enjoy the rest of the food and snacks. So, here you go. Can you eat those? Mm -hmm. oh. I sprayed that whole bush of weed killer today. I swear. Always a joke. Sir. And you probably can't see us, but in the cat catamenium, Jinxie's hanging out there, so. You can put some on your drink. Oh, yeah, Jinxie right. is right oh, here. Yeah. Probably can't see him, though. Trader Joe's, I was actually disappointed in. We went to Trader Joe's when we went for our. What was it? Pan Express. Pan Express road trip out to State College. I mean, it was something different to see, but I probably won't be going back. Are we Tell me we're buffering again. No. My phone's fine. My, my old phone's also slower. No, but people are saying buffering. Well, Tim, you're not really missing no, it. Oh, Judy, I ate a Blackberry. What kind of leaf? <laughs> okay. So, we're going to probably be sweating. It is very warm, but we want to do a fire. Uh, quick reminder, too. Saturday night for 4th of July, Independence Day, we will be streaming live from our very own backyard here. We're having some people over uh, for some food, a fire, and fireworks. So, the stream will be going for several hours. I'm going to position it in different areas. I'm not going to be able to stay by the camera the whole time to talk to you guys, but... You'll see some familiar faces. You'll be able to see what's going on and hopefully feel like you're here with us. 
so we're gonna start out with Sandra's items. She did send these to me all the way from Canada. These are ruffles with uh, cheeseburger flavor. She did message me and she's like, hey, have you ever tried these? I'm like, nope. She's like, okay, I'll send you a bag. And she kept her word, so let's try this first. So, smelling it, wow, what do you think it smells like? Like a combination of onion and... It doesn't smell like cheeseburger. Do you want to smell it? Hi, Mary. So these remind me of like barbecue chips, the flavoring, the coloring of them. They don't smell like cheeseburgers. They do smell not the greatest. Hopefully the taste will be different, but you're going to try them real Jinxie. I'm going to eat it. Well, wait a second. <laughs> Freaking bugs. All right, so here we go. Cheeseburger ruffles. That's kind of different. Let me try more because I can't really get the taste down pat yet. Tastes good. Yeah, Jeff, I, I am cold a lot. It says, the flavor of a flame-grilled, juicy, authentic cheeseburger. I don't get that taste. Mm -hmm. I taste like a charbroil flavor, you know, like when something is like cooked on the grill, whether it's chicken or hot dogs or burgers, you know, just that flame broiled taste. That's what I taste. Yeah. I don't taste the cheeseburger. I agree with that. Wow. You agree with me. It just flew on me. A bird oh. shit on your head. <laughs> this, um, no, it says paired very nicely with Budweiser. <laughs> Jinx will fix it. Jinx will fix it. Thank you for the super chat. And minus my slip there, I didn't mean to say The S word. I meant to say crap. Yeah, so these chips, they do <laughs> taste okay. I was hoping for more of a cheeseburger flavor. I'll get you um, bug spray if you want. You just have to find it. If you guys want to go get it, we'll just take a little hiatus here. Yeah. I'll stay here. All right, so she's going to go grab some bug spray for Lily. So take a, a five-minute time out if you want. Grab yourself a drink or a snack. I just use washcloth to wipe myself today. Let's we'll see how it is after the thing. Don't worry about it now. Yeah. You I guys want one? Look at him. He's like a big boy. I'm a big boy. I lay on my back. He's a big boy. Oh, no. Can I have another one? Please. No, I'm good, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's about what you get in a regular bag of chips. Pickle chips. I think we should try pickle chips. Pickle water. I don't know if I'd like that, but thank you, Sandra, for sending those. That was um, something I haven't seen in the local stores, so thanks to you, we're able to try them. Chips made only in Canada, she said. Jeff says a Booyah burger flavored chip. <laughs> What about a garlic parm chicken wing chip? That might be pretty good. Okay, so we're going to let you guys vote. It's voting time. So, vote number one. I don't want to do my thumb. Number one, <laughs> if he wants to try chocolate. Or number two, for the Snickers popcorn. So, one is chocolate from Trader Joe's. Number two is Snickers popcorn. Majority will go with that. Ads is saying, asking if I'm excited looking forward to the gummy are you yeah why not i think i should do it now it's, i was gonna say smell like lemon yeah lemon and eucalyptus it smells like um pine salt i feel like this will burn my skin <laughs> no is it keeping the bugs away yeah then you're good 
Okay, so we got numbers rolling in. Got a bunch of twos, a bunch of ones. I think two is winning. Mods. I don't know if there's any mods here or not, but no. I think number two. Oh, hey, Lisa. I'm wearing the shirt. Yeah, karate. <laughs> okay, I think two, one. Let's go with number two. So, Snickers popcorn. <laughs> Take a big bite out of that hot gummy bear. Oh, I will. Oh, Ken, the only problem is the gummy bear is about a half inch in size. <laughs> so, it's going to be bite size. Hey, hey Melissa. Morsel. Okay, so this is Candy Pop Popcorn Snickers, made with Snickers candy pieces. I found this, I think, at Walmart, if I'm not mistaken. It says, at last, America, two of your favorite treats are joined together in amazing deliciousness. Snickers candy coating and light fluffy popcorn. Perfect match. We know you will love it. Mmm, it tastes good to snack again. Mm. That's a bold statement, so. It's actually a really full bag. I'm going to give you guys the first look at it. <laughs> David. Oh, there's Ashley. Hey, Ashley. Clearly, the bugs don't like people on the go by my face. No. Don't spray it on my face. <laughs> I'm not going to. It's actually a receivable bag, I think. Oh, I opened yeah. it wrong. Breaking stuff. Let's see. So this is actually a pretty large resealable bag. I didn't know it ahead of time, but I ripped it open the wrong way. But it's pretty heavy and full, so you guys could... It smells like Snickers and popcorn. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's more in that bag, Tim, than there was in the Ruffles, though. I will say that. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> okay, I'm going to try a few pieces, so here it goes. Snickers popcorn. Hmm. You have to get some more to get the full flavor. Hey, Robert. It's melting. It's good. I'm still eating it, so that's a good thing. Mm. I don't really taste the snicker flavor. It just to me, it tastes like chocolate-covered popcorn, but it's still really good. To me, I taste mostly the popcorn flavor. If I was to put it in a percentage, I'd say it's about 70% 70 70 popcorn flavor, 30 Snickers. But like she said, what, wipes? There's not a strong Snickers flavor to it. It's mostly just chocolate. Maybe if you get the right piece, you might get like a peanut flavor or something. But it says low sodium, 150 calories per serving, and it's made in America. Jinx is on his back. He turned over. Aww. Okay, so candy pop popcorn by Snickers. I think it's worth trying. A little disappointed there's not a stronger Snickers flavor, but it's still enjoyable. I would buy this again. You guys' thoughts? I like it a lot. Yeah, it's that's really pretty good. good. <laughs> I wish I could share pictures on here because that would be funny to show them. Jinx is laying on his back with his belly open. No, oh, he was. He was, but. Okay, so next up that came in second place is chocolate from Trader Joe's. We have two different kinds. And then last will be the gummy bear. But should be first. Should make me eat the gummy bear and then eat the chocolate. This is Trader Joe's crispy rice milk chocolate. It's a nice lavender color wrapper. Yeah, uh, it says import it. Imp what? Periwinkle. Why are you giving me creepy eyes? <laughs> Imported from Belgium. <laughs> You'd eat the popcorn all day. Wait, you would probably eat the popcorn on a cold day. Okay. Popcorn's good anytime. You need the shave, but still, JP, we love you. I can't win, Paula. When I shave, people complain. When I let it grow, people complain. I just have to get a... One inch attachment to just keep it one length permanently. <laughs> Alright, so here's a piece for Lily. 
Zombie said Trader. Trader. Okay, so here's Trader Joe's crispy rice milk chocolate imported from Belgium. It tastes like something we ate before. Crunch bar. Mm. Tastes like crunch. The chocolate is. Oh, well, zombie! I mostly eat Hershey's, so either way. <laughs> Hershey's or Gertrude chocolate, you can't go wrong. Michael Moots is better than Gertrude. Can't let the head grow in. It's only gonna grow around the back. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rock that look. So this tastes like um like almost like a Nestle Crunch. The chocolate I don't think is as enjoyable as Nestle Crunch, but it's still good though. Yeah, that's good. It tastes like like the Swiss chocolate we eat and stuff. I don't want any more. Edith says, JP, your face, your choice to have or not. Oh, that's what I like to think, but everyone always criticizes me no matter, no matter what I do, so I guess I have your to expect it. Thanks for cutting me off. Sorry. <laughs> I guess I have to expect that being on YouTube. Hey, but. smoking Joe. Okay, next item is... Ritter Sport. It says milk chocolate with butter biscuit and cocoa cream. Cole Ryder said he'd uh, give you some of his hair. Fine European chocolate made with quality ingredients. Um, I don't know how many servings it is. It says quality chocolate squared. So it has, it has a square bar. Dar Daria says uh, we should do a fire pit cooking video. Well, we have a grill for that. <laughs> We're not going to be roughing it here in the backyard. We're going to have to stoke the fire. we got a grill and a griddle, so we're covered for cooking outside. You ever feel like a cold burning feeling? Cold burning feeling? That makes no sense. Never mind it. <laughs> a cold burning feeling. Burning is hot. Like, like it's cold, but it feels like it's like burning. What? What? What is? What? I know. Something. Yeah. Oh. Well, stop looking your arms. Yeah. <sighs> okay, so we all got monstrous pieces. Don't really have any smell to it. So this is a Ritter Sport Butter Biscuit Cocoa Cream Chocolate Bar. Hi, <laughs> JP. Two of them. Any thoughts? But the inside doesn't have any taste. Texture wise? Texture is good. Mm. Chocolate's pretty good. Not sure what Lily's doing. It's coming door. It's what? It's coming door. What is that? What? The thoughts are coming to her. They said Commodore. <laughs> yeah, that's what you said. So that one doesn't have a whole lot of flavor. It's not bad. It is um, like, like a biscuit coating in the middle. So it's chewy with the chocolate, and it's a little bit, you know, I guess you could say semi-crunchy with the biscuit in the middle. But it doesn't really stand out as, don't do that, please. Sorry. It doesn't stand out as anything that would really blow my mind. It's like, oh, I got to have this again. It was kind of, kind of a look down, but chocolate, though, I mean, chocolate, you know, chocolate. chocolate, you know, there's no such thing as bad chocolate. It's just some are better than others. Darlene, we'll keep your brother in our prayers. Mm -hmm. Daria, I think you should not even worry about mopping right now. <laughs> yeah, that floor is not going to go anywhere. You're going to miss me doing this gummy bear thing. I'm going to have to grab myself another beverage. I'm drinking the Mountain Dew Liberty Brew, which is a very blueberry 
taste to it. But enjoyable, but if I'm gonna have this hot gummy with Jill, I'm gonna have to get another drink, so. Another, oh, another drink. Sure. All right, so I'll be right back. Brenda, at some point we'll be back in the Smokies. We do like it there. Why is my mouth in the middle Well, because it's, because it's eucalyptus. Mm. I don't know what's going on. Oh, uh, let's see. Zombie, I don't like milk, so that should be interesting. A beer. Hey, Chris. Let's see. Gotcha, Daria. You know, I, 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 uh, Give you a lot of credit um that sounds like it's probably something that has you do every day so keep up keep up the good work i gotta try coconut milk um did i try that before i might have no the ants are gonna get the pot probably <laughs> what's going on can you grab the popcorn and close it? I see. Yeah. Where's the popcorn at? Yeah. David, you left me behind. No, oh, sorry. I'm glad that you're hanging out with us. I don't know how to close this. It's not really close ceiling for me. Oh, okay. Can you put it up on the table then? That way, bugs don't get into it. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Oh, they left you. Uh, they'll be here. No, Babs, uh, my brother and I actually built the catio, or catty mindium, as he calls it. Thanks, Brett. All right, you ready? In a minute. Thanks, Bonnie. Okay, so the item that Tim sent us is called Lil L I L Nitro. It says world's hottest gummy bear. Pretty cool packaging. I'll show it up to you up close once I read it. it says this product is extremely spicy and has the potential to cause skin and or mouth irritation. It says intended for adults only, should be kept out of reach of children and pets. Lil Nitro is not to be consumed. Consume by those with any heart or respiratory conditions. Consume at your own risk. And it's made by Flamethrower Candy Company. And the side of the Dun, box is flammable, combustible, warning, hot. Well, it's clever packaging, I will say that. coming at my face, too. He never had a gummy bear. No. I don't know if you want this one, V, though. <laughs> we'll see, Muppets. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> it says, Flamethrower Candy Company comes the next experience for those who seek the heat. Little Nitro has been infused with our signature 9 million Scoville unit chili extract making it 900 times hotter than a jalapeno pepper are you serious let's do it thankfully the gummy bear is like the size of um like the tip of my thumb it's not a full-size gummy bear because i think um fye sells like this big gummy bear about probably three inches big that's supposed to be really hot Like a 
dynamite sticks. We want you to make the best of Little Nitro video on the internet. Post your video to YouTube and hashtag Little Nitro Challenge for a chance to be featured in our website and social media platforms. <laughs> Fully chew this fiery bear and see if you can handle the heat. You can go a full five minutes without relief. Can, oh, it's just, can you go full minutes, five minutes without relief? Ooh, maybe we should get a, a thing on here. Let me see. I'm not going to be able to go 15 seconds. Stopwatch. All right, let's try it. So the bear, like I said, it's really small. We're going to break it in half. We're both going to take half of it. No smell to it. Anything that smells like freaking bug spray. <laughs> so it's actually a little gummy bear holding, looks like a stick of dynamite. Jeez. I'll give you the bigger piece. <laughs> of course. So I'm going to eat his head. The head broke off. All right. Well, I'll see you in the emergency room. You're already behind on it. <laughs> I'm out. It is hot. Oh. I don't know if I'm going to make it to five minutes. <coughs> oh, it's like another wave coming on. She's just like, okay. I know soda is not the drink to take, but that's all I have right now. <laughs> I ate those. You're turning red. I ate those noodles, and those noodles were nothing like this. Yeah, I, I would take hot ramen over this any time right now. She's actually beat red like she just came out of the beach, and she never turns red from this stuff. My tongue, ah, uh, it's like numb. Uh, uh, I feel like dumb and dumber. I need the ketchup and mustard. Ah. Uh, we're both having a bath of panic attack. <sighs> Ugh, I'm getting like gas now too, so I burp it's coming back up. <sighs> Good thing I didn't do that. <sighs> yeah. I'm oh. gonna die on <sighs> I already swallowed it, I can't spit it out. Uh Mr. Phoebus. Sorry if we missed your comment. Thank you, Mr. Phoebus, for the super chat. Whew, I might have to go get the gallon of milk or ice cream. I'll get ice cream. Look, you want to get ice cream? <laughs> I'm tapping out. I can't. Hurry up. A little, little pep in it. Bring a spoon and ice cream. I'm Yo. actually crying. <laughs> I, I, I'm breaking out into a sweat right now. I only made it to 2 minutes and 20 seconds. I think I made it to about 15 seconds, which is, I'm shocked I made it that long. Oh my God. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Sorry oh. guys, I'm sorry. I. Uh, it's coming back up in gas. I can't make it. <clears throat> oh God. Sorry for spitting and burping. <laughs> oh. What? Just eat it. <laughs> uh, here, just. <laughs> mm. This ice cream's like freaking rock hard. <laughs> it's the first thing I saw. It's I all know right. they're running too. <laughs> it's all right. Oh, sorry guys. Oh. 
I'm a mess here. Spray <laughs> <laughs> blow my nose, it's coming back up. <laughs> oh, I'm sweating so bad. The ice cream is actually helping. I need like a big scoop of that. Just bite it. I'm ready to rip the freaking carton open. <laughs> oh my god. Ice cream just help. Sorry, ice cream just help. Give me more, please. <laughs> My chest is burning right now. Seriously. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So this is chocolate peanut butter ice cream. <laughs> Never again will I try that. I'd have to get paid good money. Well. Well, it's okay if you laugh because <laughs> that's where we are right now. Yeah, you guys are welcome to laugh. We're doing this for your entertainment, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm still crying. Yeah, I am red. I can feel it. I'm, I'm sweating. You good? Wow. No, because now my stomach is burning. I didn't think that was going to pack that kind of punch, but let me tell you, that was... You were holding your diet. Oh, crap. <laughs> I broke the spoon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, zombie, uh, we're covered on that. The ice cream is helping, but as soon as the ice cream is gone, it's, my tongue is like numb right now. It's immediately right back on fire. Okay. Get a metal spoon. Whew. So I'm feeling it. Tip of my tongue right down to the top of my stomach. It's all, it's like I swallowed lava. Thank and you, I can Sparky. barely talk and my tongue is numb. <laughs> I sound like I'm, <laughs> like I'm drunk or something. You sound like that the guy from Goonies. Ooh, sloth? Yeah, sloth. Ugh. Ugh, let's go. Thank this you, is not Sparky. helping. It's giving me gas. It's bringing it up. Ugh. Oh, Sparky. <laughs> we only have one, so we're not doing it again. Anytime soon, but thank you for this super chat. That made it worth it. <laughs> I'm like, it's like a swallow of lava. Yeah. I even love it, it feels like, though. Oh, excuse me. It's, That's what I imagine. It's bad. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm still feeling it. <laughs> I'm okay eating ice cream. <laughs> Pull a robber and start licking the butter. <laughs> that Man. was that was crazy. I'm sweating. That is crazy. Uh oh, zombie wants to send us a toe with Satan. What's that? <sighs> I don't know. Zombie, send us that. It's going on the shelf as a display. I ain't eating that. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, my nose is running and everything. I'm a total train wreck. <laughs> I'm numb. I don't want more for that. Huh? I don't want more. What do we want to know if Sunday Night Live is this weekend? Yep. I'm sorry, I can't talk more. Yeah, I do a mouthwash in, in the house. Whew. Ice cream gives a temporary relief, thankfully, but... Hey, if this is my uh, reward after eating that, I'm good with it. <laughs> my but favorite thing, ice cream. If you guys want to look up on the internet how hot this is, there's um, it's called the Scoville units. There's a scale. 9 million Scoville units, you'll be able to see how high it is. And for those people that do that 
hottest. What's that YouTube the thing? Chip challenge? No, with the chicken wings. Oh, hot ones. Hot ones where they eat the spicy chicken wings. I don't know how they do it because. That was only nine million. They do like two hundred and some million or something like that. This is by far the hottest item I've ever had in my in my body. The hot ramen noodle challenge I did was hot, but at least it was enjoyable. This is just like shooting a flamethrower down your mouth. My nose just keeps running. Okay, cleans you out and leaves you empty inside. Yeah, um, <coughs> Lily's hair is purple. By the way, too, if you guys are enjoying laughing at my and our expense, if you help me, I've announced it already, help me get to 150,000 subscribers. When I do, Jill is going to wax my legs live on YouTube. So I will be in tears probably or screaming like a man child, but both legs will be waxed down. More than to, he is now. <laughs> waxed down to the bare skin live for you guys once I reach 150K. So I'm about just under 11,000 away. So you get me there faster by sharing my channel with your friends and family, the faster you will see me act like a little girl. So it'll be for your enjoyment. Firefly. Yeah, lightning out, lightning mugs are out. Whew. You don't want any more? Just one more. I, I don't want to. It's like that one. bad combination with everything else in my stomach right now. Firefly. <laughs> yeah, Lily's catching fireflies. Feeling starting to come back to my th my tongue, which is good. That's all right, Elizabeth. <laughs> if I was you guys, I would be laughing hysterically too. I'm laughing myself. Although I'm very happy I'm eating ice cream. <laughs> Bill, I know that's going to hurt. That's the whole reason I'm doing it because um, it's going to make for an entertaining live stream. I can't wait to watch a replay. I I know she turned red, and she usually doesn't get affected like that. So if she was affected that much, I know it was really hot. And I don't like heat. I do better than I thought I ever would. This one, I couldn't go more than 15, 20 seconds. She went about two minutes. I mean, that's... I give her props. If I tried it by myself, I don't think I'd be able to swallow the whole thing. I only ate the head of it, so... No, I don't know if I could eat the whole thing. That was crazy. Like that. I couldn't even chew it all the way down. I actually had to swallow it down with a drink. Because it was just getting so hot. I'm like, it was either spit it out or swallow it. What if you just, like, took it and you just, like, take, took it like a pill? I don't know. It's a good question. It'd probably just burn in your stomach. Burn a hole in it. <laughs> Piper says, screaming like a girl when the huge cricket jumped on your head. <laughs> I'll be screaming more than that. And the funny thing is, I don't mind crickets. I'm around them all the time with all my explorations. But Mike, being the uh, smart Alec that he was, decided to blow on them, which caused him to jump, which I wasn't expecting. You know, I get up and close and personal to them and admire them, but to have them jump and bounce off your head is not a good feeling. So, especially when they're big and the size of your freaking this. Yeah. Consider yourself lucky, Lily. That's what Jeff said. Yeah, Lily would never survive. She'd be in tears or the hospital, probably. I'd be in the hospital most likely. She would be crying. So, I will say thanks, but no thanks, though, Tim, <laughs> for sending the item. I know you said it's optional if we wanted to try it or just kind of keep it as a collector's piece. Or like a, just like a gimmicky item, but, you know. <laughs> We're not one to shy away from challenges, but not to say we're going to try everything that people send us. But, Tim, I know you had good intentions, and hopefully it was enjoyable for you and everyone else to watch. So Thanks, Libby. I think I'm doing okay now. Try eating one of those cave crickets. After you, Tim. You do it first. <laughs> I want to see it on camera. What did you think about the snake? The rattlesnake. Oh. I wasn't happy about it. I came within about three footsteps of stepping on it by accident. A Jersey girl said, well, you got really tall. Yeah. She's been tall since she was born. <laughs> this is true. Why is it so hard to keep up? Raccoons. Yeah, we got raccoons here. I will say thank you to Turkey Hill, 
ice cream for oh. being our savior. Dana got her new glasses. Barbara just got here. Barbara, you missed uh, a, a big show here. <laughs> Why am I not seeing the comments? Oh, there they are. The shark is. Oh, uh, the roof of my mouth is still burning. I got heat in my whole mouth, but it's not numb anymore. There is a type of rattlesnake zombie. Uh, it'll be in my video coming out when I release it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. We need to bring back spice tests. Well, this should catch up for now, so we're good for spice for a while. Well, I'm glad we made your night there. I'm sure I'll be feeling it when I hit the bathroom and whenever that happens. <laughs> You're exempt from all mask mandates. <laughs> yeah, Barb, I'm recovering, not suffering anymore. It was pretty bad for a little while. Both of us turned red. I started hacking up a lung and we had to start eating spoonfuls of ice cream to take away the fire. I think I think Mike said it was a timber timber rattler if I'm not mistaken. If you eat what's called an Indian turnip, it will blister your throat. Well, we're not going to be eating that anytime soon. Yeah, there was a train. I heard it too. The fire truck's coming oh, to put me out. <laughs> well, just don't pick anymore. Hey, okay. what are you doing? <sighs> <clears throat> and I'm over here. Bring the fire trucks. Put out the fire. Wee woo. Wee woo. Oh, Myra, we got baby wipes here, so we cleaned our hands really good, so that way we don't touch our eyes or anything like that. It's like a bad burn. You know how, like, you eat hot food and you burn your roof, roof of your mouth? That's what it feels like right now. Yeah. Oh, not so common in... At least with me, zombie, um, 39 years, my first time seeing a rattlesnake in person. And that was at uh, Seven Tubs we saw. It was right on the road. Sorry. So we're going to stay on for a few more minutes to chat with you guys. If you did tune in late, I do encourage you to watch the replay. We did try um, one, two, four different items. And the finale was the world's hottest gummy bear called Little Nitro. And tomorrow being Friday will be a premiere 8 p.m. And Saturday, 4th of July, we'll be going live from right here, our backyard, with a lot of familiar faces and some friends of ours. So that'll be starting sometime after probably 6.30, 7 o'clock Eastern Time. JP, you make LOL. Thank you, Anita. You're welcome, Tanya. Is it Tanya? Tanya? <laughs> Sorry if I mispronounced it. Sandra said we'll remember it tomorrow when we go to the bathroom. <laughs> if it's as bad as I'm anticipating it will be, maybe I'll share an update in my community tab. Just let you know, hey, I survived, but, you know. Well, it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how painful it is. Uh, yes, Jeff, they are actually afraid of fireworks. They, um, they come bolting in. Sorry. Every time um, a firework goes off. It hasn't been too bad, though. I mean, every so often something will go off, but it's not all night, every night. But uh, Saturday night, they're going to be scared. I'm going to be having, excuse me, fireworks for a couple hours. So it's going to be not too pleasant for them, but we're going to keep the window closed. They have their areas that they go hide. Darius says, your family tickles my heart. You're welcome. Zombie, not sure if you got my comment too. Did you end up going to Big D's or did you only go to Springbrook? I got another firefly. Hello, Melinda. <clears throat> I don't know why we're having a fire tonight. It's very warm out and that gummy bird didn't make it any better. Angie is having a bonfire too. <laughs> They're going to hear your, your fireworks in the bathroom all over the valley. <laughs> Zach's going to be enjoying a steak dinner on the 4th Awesome We're going to have burgers, hot dogs, meatballs in, um, this, No, we're not having meatballs, are we? Or are we? Yeah Meatballs and Hawaiian sauce uh, What else? Beans 
chips. Beans with, um, was it brisket that's in it? Yeah. My cousin's bringing um, dessert. We have cookies. We're not really going all out like we used, like we did a couple years ago. Well, last year we had close to 30 people. And oh, that, yeah, last year. Last year we had close to 30 people and it rained. We had to have people bring tents because we just weren't prepared for the rain and everyone couldn't fit under the patio. So now we have tents. Now we have tents and we're prepared and we only have maybe 15 people coming. So it's going to be a manageable group of people. Yeah, I kind of go overboard with food. Did and you? Make people eat. Did you eat? Did you eat? Melinda, are you referring to the uh, fire pit? If so, yes, I did make that. Tim, he's invited, so not sure if he's going to be showing up or not. But I got, um, I sent out a few invites. I do know Cliff was not able to make it. He had a prior engagement. Mike is invited, um, and a few others. So we'll find out Saturday night who's actually going to be here. Lily's cousins are coming, um, and some of her friends from work. So, like I said, I'm going to have the camera rolling, you know, for the duration of the night. I'm going to position it by the fire, you know, maybe by us if we're talking. And then, obviously, when the fireworks are going off, we'll have it set up from a distance. So, I will chime in from time to time, see how everyone's doing. But it's going to be for people who have nothing going on, nowhere to go. Just come to the chat, you know, talk amongst yourselves, joke around, have a good time. Feel like you're here at the party, you know. It's all just about, you know, feeling included and making sure you feel welcome. Rochelle, um, Lily and I actually went to a sit-down restaurant. Um, what they did was they had us wear masks in, and then when we sat at the table, we could take them off. But if we had to go to the bathroom or, or if we are leaving, we had to put our masks back on. So we tried um, having a sit-down at a, a restaurant. Angie loves your videos. Thank you, Angie. QT making an appearance. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Nothing going on, nowhere to go. Well, V, you're welcome to hang out with us, so. And Barb, you know you're always invited. No invitation needed. Two bricks of firecrackers. Yeah, neighbors are going to love you with that. I didn't go all out with the big stuff. I got a, a few big items. I got, um, I got a mixture of everything. I got big stuff, you know, some novelty stuff for, you know, the kids, and I got you know, just a little bit of everything, but I got enough to last a couple hours and plus what I had left over last year. So it's not going to be a huge, you know, nonstop pyro display, but it's just going to be us having a good time. Some big stuff, some small stuff, a lot of parachutes. I, I do know that. Karen, you're more than welcome to, to join us. And uh, Dar Daria lives in Carbondale. Edward loves our fire pit. What is your next major adventure? Um, Zach, I have so many things planned. I don't know what's going to be next. Uh, I do know tomorrow I could give you guys a heads up that we are going to the lagoon tomorrow. That's a secret swimming hole that I was able to make a video on. And I went there myself to make the video. So this time I'm bringing Jill and Lily, bringing the inflatable rubber ducky, bringing, bringing the um, inflatable donut that Lisa sent us. And we're going to float around. I'm going to do some snorkeling. And make a video of that. So it's going to be a, I guess you could call it an aquatic adventure. QT's ditching us. <laughs> oh, QT's lurking in the shadows. He's got other plans. Uh, Lori, you are more than welcome to join us too. Well, oh, Rochelle, that's pretty cool. How was the Olive Garden? Zombie, if you blow through your fireworks quick, uh, Montage is having them up on top of the mountain, I think, around 11 o'clock or so. Yeah, we're already, um, I don't know how long we're streaming here now. I'm going to wrap it up in about five minutes here. <clears throat> the lagoon is going to be near with the rubber ducky. Not sure what that means. Maybe neat? Oh, yeah, neat, yeah. <clears throat> I think we'll have fun, Lisa. It will make for some funny footage, though. Just me and a big rubber ducky. <laughs> Duck and donuts video. <clears throat> yes. And... I'm bringing my snorkeling gear. I'm going to scour the bottom of it. Maybe we'll find something. But just looking forward to cooling off. It's supposed to be in the 90s tomorrow and a good portion next week. So, 
Yeah, last year Montage had an awesome fireworks show. That was the winter time. Jeff said that you're due for another Panda Express <coughs> visit. <laughs> well, we are going to Maryland in just a few weeks, so we may find one along the way. Hope you find more abandoned oh, mansions. You know we're going to find it already because you already asked me to map it out. Well, I don't know how far out of the way it is. <laughs> it's like right on the way. Well, you told me it was like no, far uh, away first. Well, because that was a Maryland one. You asked me to search Delaware, Delaware, so I searched Delaware. Angie, I'm, I always keep my eyes peeled, but they are harder and harder to find. So but I do have another abandoned video coming out. It's not a home, but it will still be interesting to watch. That will be out in probably about a week or two. Heart of Kentucky yeah, won't need fireworks. Looks like a lot of people have canceled fireworks. I see some fireworks going off over there. <clears throat> no problem, Bonnie. Je Jenny, I don't think they'll deliver all the way here. <laughs> yeah, they need a Panda Express here in Northeast Pennsylvania. Oh, Barbara, no, we get pretty hot. Um, usually mostly in the 90s um, and humid and very humid. And you say it's cold. Well, uh, certain things are cold. Why does that sound like it's right in the back? I think it's echoing. Hmm. Is there anything you guys want to say to wrap it up here? No. <laughs> Lily's a woman of many words tonight. Oh, I'm glad that you guys came and, and saw our, our pain. <laughs> Can you tell us what your favorite item was that you tried? Um, the candy popcorn. Snickers popcorn? <clears throat> yeah, I think the Snickers popcorn and then my ice cream. <laughs> yeah, I think Snickers popcorn was the best. Uh, like I said, the Ruffles didn't taste like cheeseburger, but there's still something different to try. And the Trader Joe's chocolate was decent. Nothing to brag about. Adzi asked if we are still subscribed to those monthly food boxes. No, we discontinued that. We started getting kind of similar items. So we're going to check into a new subscriber box, probably closer to the fall. Love the Knobles video, thank you. Yes, I encourage you guys. I did release a video today from Knobles. Me and Lily went yesterday for opening day, and it was a very unique experience. We did wear our masks. We did be respectful and follow the rules and guidelines. But um, you know, it's going to be how it is at pretty much any park that opens right now. So if you want to see how it was, it's a 40-minute video, but I guarantee you it is entertaining. We have some ride montages. We have some commentary. We have some arcade action, food action. A little bit of everything in that video. It came out today, so if you have nothing to do after the live stream, check it out. But we are going to wrap things up here. I do want to thank you for tuning in. Sorry for the technical technical difficulties with going live. Apparently, the YouTube app just does not like to wa work with me when we're here at home. Um, but thanks to Tim and Sandra for sending us the items. If you guys ever want to send items for us to try live on YouTube here, my P.O. box will be found down below every video description. You can send it to me. I open it live on Sunday Night Live, and we feature it in a separate episode. We do have items from Germany and, I believe, Russia, if I'm not mistaken, that were sent to us from Lisa. So that will be probably next week. We'll be trying those live. And next week, too, I'll be doing a live stream at some point and hopefully stopping somewhere, maybe Booyah Burger to get some food. But Ellen, I'm glad you're feeling better. Yeah, hopefully the foot's recovering. Thanks, Daria. But yes, Edward, ice cream is the best. <laughs> if I could live off of ice cream, I would totally live off of ice cream. Okay, guys. So thanks again for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow night, 8 p.m. for the premiere, and then Saturday night, 4th of July, from my backyard. So bye, guys. Thanks bye. for watching. Bye, Lori. Bye, Adam. Bye. Night, you mug. Hello, kitty cat. He said, don't he 